So Charles says I gotta hold the camera steady. I'll try. You know, I'll give everything a try once or twice. Or three times. I keep messing it up and I keep trying again. I keep messing up and keep trying again. So uh, I did have a vision last week on what I'd be able to do this weekend. Of course, there's a reason why I don't often plan things out too far into the future because things fall apart, life happens, and then you get discouraged if what you've planned doesn't happen, and that's it's even hard for me to look at a camera. You know, I, often when I'm sitting there talking to a person, I look there and there and, you know, 40 some odd years old and you'd think you'd get it right, but I guess not. I still have issues with that. So I was going to sit there and ask myself some questions and actually do some film editing instead of just a one shot, but it's going to be a one shot. Um, Mid the dumps, I do know that. I think I'm still heading into the dumps too. I just am very sad. I'm in one of those phases, um, and actually, in looking at the cycles of those sad, sad phases for me. I've noticed a recurrence. A reoccurrence? Recurrence. I'm going to say reoccurrence. Um, and it has to do with this particular time of the year. A few years back I made one of the hardest decisions I had to make at this time of the year. And Flipped my world upside down. Left something that wasn't working. And failed at something that I had never thought I was going to fail at. Oh, Brittany, you'd be so proud of me. Self-realizations are something that can be very beneficial. And of course my therapist is now on an island somewhere with her boyfriend, soon to be husband. Um, he got a great job in the islands um, and she went and she wanted to see me one last time before she went, and I denied her that option. I controlled that. I chose that. But, so, I have to get out of this one, though. Um, this is probably the worst that I have seen in a while. Probably since the spring of 2005 and also the fact that I think I've gained a couple of days ago and I've gained 12 pounds over the summer and these people like me don't tend to live until the late 40s and 50s it's just not a common occurrence. It happens. But we damage the body by being morbidly obese for too long. So if I want to do 
anything, I have to figure out how to turn this around. And so even though, because I'm sad, all I want to do is eat comfort food. I'm fine in that. I lost last week. I did good the week before, but I lost last week. And um, I just have to really, really force myself this week. Because I'm losing a battle right now. And I'm discouraged. And I'm sad. And I'm having thoughts that I don't want to have. But there are reasons for me to keep fighting, for me to keep coming. There aren't reasons like I would really want right now, particular things that I feel would help me, but there are other reasons. So I took control of life I live in space um, this weekend, Friday night, part of Saturday and part of today. I had to work at yesterday at work and spent some time with one of my reasons in the afternoon and then today there was stuff I should have done but I took the day off I took the day off to think to contemplate to find a reason to keep going so that I'm not losing it the wrong way, that if I'm going to be losing it, it's going to be weight, it's going to be losing the shackles, it's going to be losing the crap that I do not need. So this is not at all what I wanted to do this weekend with a video but it's the video that I'm doing because it's me right now at this moment in time and at this moment in time I am lost so freaking lost but I'll find my way I've always found my way one step at a time it's all I can do so I've got to find what makes me happy I've got to find what gives me a purpose and I've got to grab a hold of those and fight my way out of this and fight my way into something different. And it's going to be a challenge. And I've been here before. And I've been on the precipice before. And I've written poems about being on this precipice. And I'm tired of being on this precipice. So, it's got to change. I've got to change. Because... Honestly... If I end up here again... as much as these down in the dumps are I'm scared <laughs>